Hello my crafty friends welcome to our channel I am Anu designer with just my craft and today I am back with another craft tutorial but before we move forward please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us In today's video I'll be talking about our amazing new launch shrink pink frosted sheets So these are the ones recently launched at Creativation 2020 and got a massive response as well All our international crafters you can get these sheets from our website I have given a link in the description box below you can check that Now without any further ado let's see what's all the fuss about and get to know about this product in detail Shrink pink frosted sheets come in a pack of 10 A4 size sheets Here how it looks in real Now these are some kind of plastic that shrinks beautifully it has two sides one is glossy other one is frosted that is rough side These are approx 200 gsm These are flexible and not 100% transparent but you can still see through them Now the first question that that's been frequently asked is that is it same as shrink plastic so the answer is no it does the same thing but it is a little different than shrink plastic here's a comparison chart for both shrink plastic is transparent whereas shrink pink isn't completely transparent shrink plastic is glossy from both the sides whereas shrink pink is glossy from one side and frosted from another shrink plastic is thinner as compared to shrink pink once shrunk down shrink plastic gives the plastic look whereas shrink pink appears to look glass finish or matte now all these conclusions about shrink plastic has been made from the research i did over the internet if you find it untrue in any way please correct me in the comments below now the second question arises is how to draw on it now there are four different ways to do that number 1 hand draw using pencil or markers number 2 trace the image with permanent marker Number 3 stamp on it with permanent inks Number 4 print on it I did it with my HP Dextet Ink Advantage printer. You can use any printer that easily takes in these sheets. Draw or print on the side you want to color on. I did it on the frosted side here. Why? I'll tell you that later in this video. You can die cut on these sheets as well. I have this pointed flower die from Dress My Craft. I have cut down a small piece of shrink pink frosted sheet to fit in the die and I'm going to use our easy cut machine to die cut this. And it cuts crisp and nice. Now the third question is how to color on these? What color mediums to use? Before I tell you that I just want to clear this there are two types of surfaces one is porous and other non porous porous is what absorbs and non porous you know is opposite it doesn't absorbs now the glossy side of shrink pink sheets is non porous and the frosted side of shrink pink is porous 
to a certain extent note that this is not paper so you can't expect to behave it like that while you coloring so there are six color mediums you can use to color on shrink print frosted treats and they are number 1 watercolors you can use any watercolors the trick with them is to not use a lot of water while coloring If you are mixing two colors together make sure do it one by one let the first color completely dry then go on with the next color and also if you haven't printed with the permanent ink then be careful while coloring with watercolors Now this is a time consuming medium but it surely looks beautiful Number 2 pencils you can use any color pencils I have here Faber Castell Polychromos it's very easy to color with pencils only thing to keep in notice You use sharp pencils and go slow and easy and cover the entire area. Number 3 soft pastels This is my favorite medium to color on frosted side I have these soft pastels from Mungyo
To use the pastels, you will need a cotton swab. First powder the colors you want to use. Then simply pick the colors with cotton swab and use it. You can also use a paper stomp here. Apply the colors very lightly as the deepens after shrinking. Number 4 Dye inks, distress inks, archival inks, etc. You can use any of these inks to color up the die cuts mainly. It will be a little difficult to color up images with these inks, but here's just to show you. Number 5 Copics, Sharpies or any markers. Yes, you can absolutely use your Copics and Sharpies or any markers on both glossy and frosted side of the sheets. Number 6. Alcohol inks. You can absolutely use any liquid alcohol inks on the glossy side of shrink print frosted sheet. Now because I don't have any alcohol inks and Copics available with me right now so I can't show you how to actually use them but I'm sure you all will figure it out. Remember after shrinking the colors will get darker to 2 to 3 times of what they originally were. So make sure you use very light shades while coloring. Now the fourth question how to cut these. Now one thing I can say that cutting on these sheets is nothing like cutting on paper because it can break or at least crack a little while cutting. Here are few tips for you. Cut one image at a time. Do it in small parts. Use any medium sized scissors. Do not use the tip of your scissors to cut. Continuous cutting won't work here so do it in parts. Instead of moving the sheet, move your scissors. You can't help with a crack on tiny spaces so it's okay. Once you are done with all the cutting, you can either store or throw away these. If you decide to throw them away, make sure you do it properly because these are very sharp pieces and of all it's plastic and non-biodegradable. Now the fifth question, how to shrink these? You can do it in a oven, but the most easy and convenient way to do it is using a heat gun or heat tool. Also, you will need a foam pad like this one. It's from Dress My Craft. And I'm covering it with a normal cotton cloth folded in layers. Use a material which can handle heat. This is so that because our cutouts doesn't get stuck to the foam while shrinking because it's plastic, it tends to stick to foam. Next, you will need these heat resistant tweezers from Dress My Craft. 
This is to hold the cutouts in place. These are best for this work as the ceramic tip of these tweezers are heat resistant and saves you from burning your fingers in the process. And here's my heat gun. Make sure you give uniform heat to it on all the sides of the cutout so it shrinks down equally. As you see here, it shrinks, curls up and then automatically flattens. It is when you know that it's completely shrunk down. Now at this stage, it is very hot and flexible and this moment is the right time to shape it. You can make it curved but here I want it flat so I am using a cutting plate to flatten it. Now if you are not happy with the shape, you can reheat and remold it as many times as you want. As you can see here, the frosted side gives you a matte look whereas the glossy side looks like glass. Now the sixth question, how much it shrinks? So I would say it shrinks up to one third of the original size and it gets approximately five times thick than the original. Now here's a tip. I made myself a shrink print ruler so that I can get a better idea about the sizes. You can do it too, it's a great help honestly. Last question, what all you can create with these? Well, the possibilities are endless and I'll leave it to your imagination or else wait for my next video. Till then, if this interests you, do not wait more and order your pack of shrink print frosted sheets now. Link is given in the description box below. So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give it a thumbs up, leave some love in the comments and share this video with your friends. Also, all the supplies I've used in this video are linked in the description box below. You can check there. So now I'll take a leave and I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until then, see you and happy crafting.